In this tutorial we're going to continue with the mesh we created in the previous tutorial and what we're going to do is try and apply some kangaroo physics simulations over the top of this to create a more organic and free-formed continuous surface. So I've got open the files from the last tutorial with our mesh referenced in and we're finding we're welding those vertices together and finding the naked vertices. So if you want to get these files just go back to the previous tutorial and rewatch that or download them from the differentdesign.com. We're going to start by just um, smoothing this mesh out to give it a bit more of an organic form. So I'm going to turn off the um, mesh layer over here and I'm actually going to delete the naked vertices just to start with. Might preview that guy off so we can only see that. Um, mesh vertices um, output coming. So now what I want to do is I want to use something called the uh, mesh smooth component. So this can be found under utilities in the mesh um, tab. So I'm going to grab smooth mesh and I'm just going to plug my mesh into here. So what this is going to do is it's going to um, basically find the averages of the vertexes around it and basically smooth all those guys out into a much more um, kind of organic form. So the strength um, by default is set to 0 0.5. We could set it to 1, so it's a much stronger smooth. Um, the iterations um, is basically how many times we're going to apply this smoothing process. So right now we're only applying this smoothing process once at a strength of 1. We could say go and apply it like 10 times or well, maybe 12 times. So I'm going to go to iteration is 12 and you start to get a much smoother surface. Maybe I'll double click on that and make it 20. Um, and another kind of interesting thing you can do by default, the smooth mesh component um, skips all of the naked vertices. So you remember our discussion from the previous tutorial, the naked vertices are those um, vertices in a mesh that aren't surrounded by faces. So it's not smoothing these edges and you get these kind of squared edges. If we right click on that and invert that Boolean, we'll start to get these kind of smooth edges that are, um, coincidental to the rest of the smooth mesh. Cool, so we're already getting a bit of an organic form, but now I just want to run a bit of a spring simulation on top of this um, in the kangaroo physics um, system. So Kangaroo 2 is a live physics engine embedded directly into Grasshopper for interactive simulations, form finding, optimization, and constraint solving. It's a super, super powerful tool if you know how to use it correctly. So I'm going to go to the K tab over here, and this is where the Kangaroo tool components, uh, the Kangaroo 2 components all sit. We're going to try and create a physics simulation that contracts the edge lengths of the mesh geometry that we're inputting, which is this mesh geometry that's coming out of the smooth less the smooth mesh. So that'll give us this kind of fluid simulation that we can view live in Grasshopper. Kangaroo basically runs with this kind of solver mechanism and where there's a few different types of solvers if you go to the main menu under Kangaroo 2. I'm going to grab the bouncy solver and that bouncy solver is essentially going to kind of um, show this simulation live as a bit more of a fluid simulation. So in the bouncy solver, there's a couple of inputs um, that we're not going to worry about too much. The main ones that we're interested in are the goal objects. So the goal objects are basically the aims of this simulation that we're going to set. They're basically the rules that we want to embed into this simulation. Um, there's a reset toggle. We're going to add a button to this so we can go and like reset this solver over and over again. And then we can tell um, Kangaroo if we want it to run or not to run, like if we want to pause it um, with just a little toggle. So I might go ahead and just create a button by typing in button. Um, this can be found under parameters and input. We're also going to create a boolean toggle, so I'll grab that from there as well. And I'm going to plug the button into reset and the boolean toggle into um, this on at the bottom here. Um, I could go and switch that to on so it's running. So right now, in theory, our solver is actually running, but it doesn't have any goals to um, input right now. The first goal I want to input is something called the um, show command or the show uh, goal, I guess we'd call it. So if you come up to main, there's a little show button. And this goal will basically just say, show us this mesh as it simulates um, in Kangaroo like that. So now if I click on it, you'll see we're getting a bit of an output with... Um, you know, this mesh simulation that we're putting through. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to create um, something called edge an edge length goal. And this goal is a mesh goal. So it's to do with the edge lengths of a mesh. So if we come up to goals mesh, we can find the little edge length goal component here. And this is going to ask for an input mesh, which will just be our smooth mesh. And it wants a length factor of all of those um, mesh edges. So by default, it's going to be set to one. What this means, this goal um, is essentially saying that each of the edges, like if we created an ed a mesh 
edges component, we can view all of the mesh edges straight away. Um, we're going to set a goal in Kangaroo that wants to keep all of these edges at a scale of one of their current length, which means it's trying to keep them at the exact same length that they always are by default. Uh, we're going to create a little slider at 1.00 and I'm just going to drag it down a little bit and we'll say now we want to create, you know, that um, length factor at half of what the current um, mesh length is. So what it'll do is it'll take each of these edges and it's going to try and halve them during this simulation. I mean, I could go in and we could plug that in now and just see how the simulation goes. I'm going to hold down shift to put into goal objects and you'll see it all just kind of contracts into nothingness, um, which isn't really what we want. Um, I'm just going to pause that by clicking on the boolean toggle. So there's a couple of things I want to change here quickly. I want to um, only view the mesh coming out of this geometry right now. We'll get all the vertices as well, which is coming out of that V component. So I'm going to create a list item and just plug that into there and that'll grab the first item out of the O output, which is uh, going to be our mesh if you look at that list. Uh, we can simulate again, that again and just, you know, watch this for a bit of fun. And our mesh is contracting, it's trying to make all those edge lengths half and it creates this little crumpled ball. So that isn't much use to us because we don't have much control over it. So what we're going to try and do instead is we're going to set a goal that basically holds all of these kind of naked vertices in place. So um, in the last tutorial we used the naked vertices component. I'm going to use it again. It's here under utility naked vertices and I'm going to grab out of that smooth mesh all those naked points um, and then we're going to use another little um, goal inside of kangaroo under the goals point and they're going to be called anchor so these are anchor points basically what we're doing is we're specifying a series of points that we don't want um, to be moved at all during the simulation so i'm going to um, plug that into the point input um, so those are the points to anchor. We're going to leave it as it is. We're not going to change the strength or target. Target would be if you want the um, point that you're putting in to go somewhere else. So you could anchor them to a different point if you wanted to. But we're going to leave uh, them as they are right now. So now I'm going to add that into the goal. And if we go ahead and run that simulation, I'll preview a few of these things off. You can see um, now we don't get that little crumply ball. Instead, we get this kind of um, smooth simulation that bounces along. We go and change these ed edge lengths during the simulation and they'll compress all those edges as we were talking about before. So what we're doing here is we're getting a mesh with a bunch of um, edges basically that um, are 0 0.142 of their initial length. Um, I'm going to stop that one. And the last thing I might just add into this is a mesh smooth component. So I'm going to go to the mesh tab and just grab the smooth and we'll grab that out of there. And the strength of that will be just one. Let's plug that into goals and that'll just, you know, smooth our mesh out a little bit further as the simulation runs. Cool. So congratulations. You've created your own first little physics simulation in the kangaroo to, um, plug in. I'll just zoom out and give you a better look at that definition. So once again, all we're doing is we're creating, you know, a series of goals. Um, you could go and group these goals if you wanted to as well, just so if you had like a kangaroo simulation with millions of goals, it would be a lot easier for you to kind of go and find what those goals specifically are doing. So you could go and put them in little groups like that, um, just to make it a little bit more of a streamlined process. In the next tutorial, we're going to use this mesh and try and apply some interesting different mesh patterns on top of it and hopefully apply some color onto those patterns as well.